What's up, guys? LQ here with the LQ Review, here to talk about Maleficent 2, Mistress of Evil. And this is one of those movies where when they greenlit it and they said, hey, this movie's coming out, Maleficent 2, I was like, why? I mean, yeah, I guess the first one was okay. And I guess it made okay money, but I literally know nobody who was like, man, when are we going to get Maleficent 2? I don't know anybody who was like that because it just, it was a so-so movie that did so-so money. And yeah, Angelina Jolie is kind of a superstar. She used to be a superstar. Now she's, I mean, I guess she's still Hollywood royalty, but she's not like, her star is not as big as it was, right? Not as big as it was back in the Tomb Raider days. Um, so this movie, so, 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 so to put it, put it in context, I liked the first one enough. I thought it was okay. Just okay. Part two is a little bit better than part one. Just being straight, it's a little bit better than part one. It's still not very good. It's still not great. Like, I like it enough, but it's still not great cinema by any stretch of the imagination. Martin Scorsese would not like it. <laughs> um, so the first part of the movie is very much Shrek 2. And I was thinking that as, as I was watching it, I was like, this is Shrek 2. That's what this is. This is Shrek Part 2 because it involves Aurora getting engaged to Prince Philip and he invites her and Maleficent to a big family dinner. So Maleficent reluctantly goes to this big to-do in the kingdom and they actually sit around the table and they have the uncomfortableness, they have the jokes, they have the small talk, they have all this stuff. And I was watching it and I was like, this is Shrek 2. And then I was thinking... This isn't going to end well until eventually stuff happens and then it ends well. And I was right. The dinner did not end well. Um, basically ends with Maleficent yeah, getting angry and starting a war. <laughs> so, so at that point, it deviates a little bit from Shrek 2. But I tell you what, that first 20, 25 minutes of the movie was Shrek 2. I stand by that. But then it deviates and it turns into a Lord of the Rings wannabe. Lord of the Rings wannabe. It's not. It's not anywhere near as good. Or as well done. Or the special effects aren't as good. The acting's not as good. The music's not as good. The plot is not as good. Nothing's as good. But it tries to be Lord of the Rings from that point out. And... Maleficent ends up getting shot with a silver bullet as she's escaping and she falls into this ocean pit type deal where she ends up in this secret hidden place where she learns that there are others of her kind. And they, they want to get their place back in the world. And if that means going to war, then that means going to war. So um, let's talk a little bit about... Angelina Jolie's performance, really good. It was really good. She, I mean, she, I don't know that I've ever seen her a performance of hers where I'm like, that sucked. No, she's good. She's a great performer, and she owns her role. And she owns the role of Maleficent. And I honestly think she enjoys playing Maleficent, to be honest with you. I think that's why she came back. But I, th I think that she was the driving force behind it, to be honest with you. Um, Because I don't think it would have happened if she wasn't driving it. So her performance was fine. The one who wasn't fine that was a real bummer was Michelle Pfeiffer. Now, her acting was fine. Don't get me wrong, her acting was fine. But the role was just subpar in every way. She was one note. She was a, she was a maniacal villain. At one point in the movie, I expected her to go into a maniacal laugh. <laughs> but never happened. Just never happened. Um... She was extremely one note, one vision. Get rid of Maleficent, get rid of her kind. That was all it was. And here you got Aurora and Philip kind of caught up in the middle of, of all of it. And um, and you've got some questions of loyalty and things that it, it got a little convoluted towards the end. But overall, like I said, it was a little bit better than the first. Not much, just a little. If you didn't like the first, you're not going to like this. If you like the first, you'll probably really like this, though, because I, I do think it's a little bit better. 
Um, I don't know if there's any way to anywhere to go from here. I guess they left the door open for a part three, but I'll be shocked if it happens at this point. It just <sighs> when you've got a movie that nobody, a, a, a movie that's a sequel to a movie that was so so that did so so business, and then a sequel that nobody wanted. Nobody was asking for, nobody was clamoring for. That sequel's got to blow you out of the water if you want to continue the franchise. And I just wasn't blown away. I was underwhelmed. So, great performance from Angelina Jolie. Michelle Pfeiffer did okay with what she had, which wasn't much. And, um, you know, the rest of the cast did fine. Special effects were great. And uh, the movie was just so-so. I'd give this movie a C-. minus. Maleficent 2 gets a C minus, which is probably a little bit better than Maleficent 1, which I would have probably given a D plus. So it was just okay. It was it was it was the definition of average. If average is C plus C C minus, then it's right there. I'd give it a C minus. It may be a C if I'm feeling generous. So that's where I'm at on Maleficent 2, Mistress of Evil. Have you seen the movie? What did you think? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your opinion. And thank you for being here at the OK Review, where we talk about all of the geeky, nerdy stuff we love to talk about. And until next time, we'll see you later. Every single day.